Hi, I'm Peter Haddock, and I'm here at the Steel Wrist Press launch in Hamburg. Christian Yanis, you are going to tell me mm -hmm. about some new exciting attachments that you've just launched, and then we're going to actually play with the demonstration folks. Going to start here. Quickly, tell us, what have we got first? Well, here we have the multi-grapple for the smallest machines that we have, up to six metric tons. Yep. Uh, log grapple, also known as, um, we call it the multi-grapple because it's the more versatile grapple that we offer today. Arms bypass when they close fully, right. and we have the great reach when it's open completely. And this is a steel wrist product. Correct. Now, Second generation, I would say. Uh, we've offered grapples for many years. Now we've uh, improved them, and that's what we're showing here today. So what do we got here? Quite a lot of space down here. This would be the bigger brother of uh, the MGX8. Uh, this yeah. one goes all the way up to, as you can see on the name, 26, so 26 metric tons. All right. The, the improvements we've done is that we've shortened the body a little bit, which reduces the weight, which of course is very important because you don't want to be carrying a lot of dead weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at the same time, we've been able to change the geometry of both the cylinder and the movement of the arms. So we're able to open the grapple much more than we could before so that you can grab more stuff. This is all that we're talking about here with Steel, is productivity, folks. This is why we're here today, productivity. Exactly. Correct. And when you can get more things done, when you can gather up that material, you don't have to keep going back. Exactly. This is why you, you, you create these products yourself. Come on, folks. So, smaller holes this time. Smaller holes on this one, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't make it worse. Uh-huh. Exactly. Right. So, what, so this it? is another style of grapple. So this one is uh, named uh, SGX, so it'd be the stone grapple. Right. So it's a different application. That one we would use for timber, um, brush. This one, when the, when the grapple closes fully, the cutting edges meet. Right. So it's Why more, is that important? It's, it's a different application if you want to grab boulders, big right. boulders, if you're going to build a retaining wall. So this is a bit more heavy duty grapple. Yes. It's a little bit heavier, but the applications it's going to be used on are going to be tougher. This has got some additional features on as well, hasn't it? Well, the, a bit about exactly. It. The improvements, what we've done now is we've added a mechanical stop, both on the opening and closing of the grapple, and that protects the cylinder from uh, exterior forces. So the, any force which is not supposed to go into the cylinder, we're preventing it from it. Right. And then we're adding shock relief um, valves, also once again for pressure peaks, so that the cylinder doesn't suffer if the operator is doing something a little bit too brutal. We're protecting the cylinder from And so from what you're damaged. doing is, this is a bit of, what I'm calling this, is yep. I'm calling it a clever grapple. It's looking after itself. We could call it so, yes. Yeah, absolutely. So that's great, folks. Come on, we've got more to see around here. What have I got? Little and large. So, such. <laughs> so we, we, same thing. Small brother, bigger brother, they both do the same job, uh, but they're dedicated for different sizes of machines. So you, you dedicate the tools depending on the size of the carrier, you adapt the tools. Here we have uh, hydraulic compactors. We've offered hydraulic compactors previously, but the main difference here is that hydraulic compactors have been adapted to tilt rotators. These series have been designed to work under the tilt rotator. Look at this, folks. This is the bit that matters. Exactly. For those who look at compactors on the weekend when they're born, <laughs> they'll see that this shape is really strange of the compactor, yeah. but there's some logic to it. So yeah. the idea is that the gripper, which is an option on the tilt rotator, yeah. takes a lot of room. By shoving it on this side of the compactor, this allows this slope here to get under utilities. So you can rotate the compactor right. and shove it under a utility or any lines that you want so that you don't need to get off the machine and do it with a manual walk behind compactor. And the thing about that is, again, there's two things about that. One, yes. faster, great, absolutely, lovely. but most importantly, safer. This is the really much, important much safer. part of and, that. And a lot of people will say, well, why would you want to have a compactor on an excavator? Well, not all applications are made to walk behind. If you have a great slope, Right, yeah. You're able with the excavators to reach the whole slope without having to have a rope, as some people yeah. use. Like they drop the compactor with a rope and pull it back up. Right. Uh, so those kinds of applications. So it's, it makes a lot of sense for the right application. And also, folks, what's really important for me is when we're looking at investing, when we've invested in you know, the, the, steel, the steel rotator, we've invested in everything else, it's only another add-on that actually is designed to work with the whole steel wrist system. And it? increase the efficiency of the total package, absolutely. But we haven't finished here, folks. Follow me over here. We've got a demo. I love a demo. So I'm not allowed to do the demo because I always break the demos. <laughs> but what have we got here? We've got Axel who's going to help us out doing the levers, um, folks. And um, yes, it's there you go. Well, this is what we're looking for, isn't it? This, what, is a, this is what we're looking at. What is this? Have we got a serial number on the side of it? And there's a battery in here. Double A. Double A. Look at that. That goes in here. 
and this makes it a connected piece of the equipment. And that lasts with the right one, obviously, it lasts for five years. Minimum it? of five years, yes. Right. Yeah. So, what have we got here? So, what we're looking at here is a safety uh, lock sense uh, yep. technology. And what it really does is we're sending a radio, radio signal from the locking wedge yep. all the way up to the machine yep. to let the operator know if the tool is locked properly or not. Right. Uh, other competitors or other manufacturers have chosen to do this uh, with electricity and sending a, a signal all the way from the tilt rotator up the cable all the way back to the machine. Right. Our customers work in very tough uh, applications. It's demolition, it's general contractor, there's dirt. There's a lot going on. So we thought that that would be a little bit too delicate and we've gone over to a radio signal instead. So this is like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth type scenario that this is talking through a radio signal of such. With the machine. With the machine. Letting them know if the tool is connected properly or not. Right, and look folks, we all know that is super, super important because if it's not, and the bucket falls off, and we've had very dangerous uh, in the yeah. past. You know, people can get injured on site, and that's just not acceptable. But yeah. using modern technology, where this lump can actually talk to the machine, is great. So it's time to see Let's if play it around. actually works. Hit the button, Axel. Let's go. So what we're seeing there now is that is literally coming back out. So it's unlocking now. Yep. Now we're tilted up, right, and we can see that they're slightly at an angle. There. Yes, correct. So, okay. so uh, the operator right now can see on this display in the display in the cab that the coupler is unsafe. Yeah. Um, the wedge, as you can say it yourself, as it goes back, it tilts a yeah. little bit. Yeah. And these 15 degrees are enough with a sensor to let the machine know that we can't be connected because otherwise we could not be tilted. Yeah. And as we wedge and we lock again, and Axel will do that cycle now, yeah. this will once again tilt 15 degrees onto the right direction and then the machine knows that, okay, now we are connected. Now we're safe. It's simple, it's effective, and with all the latest new uh, grapples and new attachments, it's another element that the steel wrist team can help you be safer and, let's not forget about it, more productive on site. Great to see you. Thank you. Yeah.